one of the most influential weather systems on Earth. These seasonal reversing winds bring rain and life to most regions of the Indian subcontinent. With more than 70% of India's annual rain falling during this period, the success and failure of the monsoon is intertwined with the fate of millions who depend on it. I have been filming wildlife in India for many years, but I never really got to film the monsoon. How could I have spent so much time in the wild and yet not film this life-inducing spectacle? I had to do it. Yeah, sir. So how much time you will take? So I'm thinking of getting at least 30 seconds of usable time lapse. Need about two and a half hours. What's your plan? Do some HFR shots of wildlife. Let's see what we get. As a wildlife filmmaker, one always looks for ways to find and tell compelling stories. In spite of the monsoon being so celebrated as a weather phenomenon, I have seen very few films about the life of wild creatures as they survive the incessant rain. I could see why. Working in the monsoon was going to be a great challenge. But the rain-fed landscape was incredibly beautiful. I decided that I would set up some time lapses along these cascading streams. The monsoon means a lot to me. I have spent a lot of time taking pictures of animals in the rain but I wanted to start filming them and tell stories about their lives. Moving from taking pictures to filming animals was a major transformation, but I was loving it. The monsoon seemed to have a pattern. The rain came in waves and when it rained, it was an unceasing downpour. The forest went still. Trying to find wild creatures in these conditions was almost impossible. But after an intense spell, when the rain stopped, creatures began to venture out. These dry spells were little windows of activity for the wild animals. The wetness was a challenge even for the animals of the rainforest. It was fascinating to see how they coped with it. As much as the monsoon brings life to these forests, it also brings death. But I guess it was an important part of the cycle of life. Every time the rain abated, I was able to get some nice time lapses. Filming in the rainforest is always a challenge. Visibility is poor and the animals are also very secretive.
Ruth, are you there? Yeah, Sarah. Hey, you have to come and see this man. Oh, this is amazing. Looks like some insect mold. There are so many of them here. I think we should look around. It was really hard to say if those molted skins were fresh or old. But with so many of them, it was worth scouting around. From my experience in wildlife filming, nature sometimes leaves us these little clues. Following them sometimes leads to some extraordinary phenomena. So you, you found something? Both of us unanimously felt it was worth waiting to see if anything happened. Even if it meant braving the night rain. In a rainforest, nights are as important as daytime for wildlife activity. We decided to stake it out next to the tree. Seeing something stir in the leaf litter was the most gratifying moment for us. The bizarre, sci-fi looking creature in front of us looked like the nymphal stage of an insect. It had three pairs of legs, so it was definitely an insect. But at the same time it had no wings, so it most probably wasn't an adult. And it seemed to be moving purposefully up the tree. Whatever it was, it looked similar to the insect whose molds we had seen earlier in the evening. This was getting very interesting. We were witnessing the final stage of emergence when an insect nymph sheds its skin and emerges out as an adult. For the first time, I could recognize what it was. What had emerged was a cicada. Cicada nymphs are known to spend long periods under the ground, sometimes even up to 17 years. What we were witnessing was a very rare event. When adult insects just emerge, their exoskeleton is soft and pale, with hardly any coloration. So to know what species it was, we had to wait till the next morning. Sara, hmm. I think this is the same guy. Oh yeah. Oh man, it looks brilliant. With its full adult coloration, the cicada that emerged last night 
was looking glorious. Cicadas are quite a diverse group of insects. India has more than 250 of them. Thanks to smartphones and the internet, we could kind of get close to identifying the species. So, it's probably a cicada of the genus Pomponia. And species is probably Linearis, but we don't know. To most of us, the sound of the cicada is more familiar than the insect itself. The sounds of the cicada are iconic to any Indian jungle. It is an oral experience that is unforgettable. The little time we spent in the monsoon was already so revealing. Despite all the challenges of filming in the rain, it was an experience that was truly worth it. Witnessing the cicada emergence was an unexpected surprise. It only confirmed my belief that the monsoon holds many hidden secrets. Sarah. You have to see this.